Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at uploading a video assignment in an Ultra course. So I'm first going to navigate to my video assignment that my lecturer will have set up for me. Here it is. And we'll be able to open up and get some information here. So I can see the title, I can see any other information about attempts, due date, points. And if they left um, instructions, I would be able to see this here as well. So now I'm going to click on view assessment. And to add my video, I'm going to just choose add content. So you may wish to use the attachment icon and browse for your, your file that way, um, your video file that way and, and attach it. Um, we would recommend not doing this. And the reason for that being is that it will cause your lecturer to have to download this video and they'll be marking it in two kind of separate places. Um, so to make it easier for everyone, what we're going to do is choose this little plus icon, insert content, and go all the way down to LTI item. And we're going to use Medial. And Medial is essentially the college's version of YouTube. So it'll allow them to stream the video without having to download anything. So if you've already added a video to Medial, you can just use search uh, and you could then go and find it. So you could keyword search, look for the title um, of, of your video um, there we go, keyword search, look for the title of your video and find it this way. However, if you've not already uploaded yours and you can't search for it, you can choose upload. You could also record from here as well. So if you know you haven't recorded anything yet, but you would like to record from here, you can. But I'm going to choose upload just so we can see how it works. And now I'm going to choose browse. I'm just going to use this video here. Um, so things to note with your video, uh, it can sometimes take a while to upload and this is due to the size of the video. And we're talking size, not length here. Um, so if you, for example, had used your phone to record, in many cases, most smartphones will default to the highest setting. And depending on your smartphone, this setting could be up to 4K. It's entirely possible that you don't need a 4K quality video. And if that's the case, before you record, check your settings on your phone and maybe see about uh, doing it in a slightly lower setting to reduce the size. Um, other things you can do is if you have recorded it in 4K, you could maybe use a video editor or something on your phone to compress the size of the video to make it a little bit quicker to upload. So once we're at 100, we're going to just hit next. We'll give it a title, so you could, um, whatever the name of your assessment is, or even give it your own name, uh, you know, Amy Assessment. And um, you can give it a description as well, just quite basic. Um, here is the submission. And then you'll have to click to agree to the terms of use there. Well, next. Now we're going to just quickly choose a thumbnail from our video. You can upload your own if you want. Um, so you could upload a nice title um, slide or something. But I'm just going to choose this one, I'm not too fast. Um, you can add associated files. So if there was a worksheet or you have a report that you would like to add to this, you can add it here as well if you want to. But I, I don't, so I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to hit next. And just check that all these details are correct here before I hit next again. So it's been uploaded uh, and what it will do is I will just call this video, hit insert. And what we'll find is in here, the video will be inserted. So it means that um, when the lecturer comes to mark this, they'll be able to view the video uh, without having to download it. Uh, and they can just view it here and mark it as well in the same space. So I'll just hit submit. And yep, after I submit, I can't edit, that's fine. And I'll hit submit again. And there we have it. I've now uploaded a video to a video assignment, um, which can be streamed, doesn't need to be downloaded, and the lecturer can mark that and give me my grade later.